Welcome adventurers and explorers to this show and tell. Today I've got for you Symphonia, which is specifically mentioned as a non-violent and poetic platformer, if I'm remembering correctly, on Steam. And the demo is currently out as the time of recording up until the 25th of August. I think it's part of the GamesCon uh, event that's happening. And dude, the art style kind of really got me and I was curious about this game. So we're just going to be hopping in to this demo, checking out the first hour or so. Or, you know, if the demo is less than an hour, then we're just going to be checking out the demo. And hopefully if you guys, if you're interested, uh, you can put it on your wish list. Or, oh, you know, you can also go play the demo for yourself uh, if you, you watch this video before the 25th of August. Which, hopefully, for your sake, I hope you do. Especially if this game ends up being amazing. There once were four prodigious magicians. Oh my goodness, I can't read it. I'm so sorry. Symphonia, a mystical realm where music gives life and allows wonders to arise. For a while, the founders in the orchestra feel the realm and music, and all was good. But this chord strikes even in paradise, and thus a catastrophe happened. The founders vanished, and as the rest of the musicians parted ways, the realm slowly fell into silence. One day, an automation discovers. Okay, incredulous, they start to believe. Guided by hope, they traveled where it all began, and soon. I hope you guys, uh, the sound is coming through, uh, well, the sound of the game, I hope is coming through well. Cause it is loud as hell in my ears right now, but I feel like with my OBS settings, it might just be kind of quiet for you guys. It is quieter than my audio, so. Mm. Yeah, you're supposed to be equipped with like the violin and I don't know, violin string instruments have always been just a mystery to me. <laughs> I was still in a cutscene. Is that a decree? The world of Symphonia and its prodigies. Where are they now? Oh, thank you. Oh, bye. Is, uh, was that a messenger or something? Founders Amph Amphitheater. Oh my goodness. I I already kind of expected this when I when I realized I'm gonna be playing a game about an orchestra. It's gonna take me a while to say some of the names. The orchestra names. <laughs> kind of a little bit annoying to pronounce sometimes. Ooh. Ah. Oh. So if I hold down Y, it just plays? Oh, okay. This game will be fun. And I don't care. Okay, we can jump. Slumbering streets. And I like the the music. Uh, what do you call that? Like the music lines trail that I've got. Oh wait, I think it's supposed. It says if I play music next to things, I'm able to interact with them. Cause these lights turned on before, and now they don't. Can I play music as I run? I can't. Okay, uh, are you my music instructor? What's happening? Interact. Playing the violin. Press by split. Oh, I already figured that out. Okay. Ah, okay. So those are the things I can interact with. Speaker looking things.
Yeah, so this game is supposed to be, you know, about you traveling around this world, reviving dead, well, dead and lost music. Okay, there we go. And I thought it was pretty cool, especially when it was about orchestra music. I've always kind of had a fascination with orchestra music, even though I've never actually, you know, indulged in that fascination. I've never actually, like, learned a lot about it, or... I don't even think I've ever... Nah, I've never been to an orchestra, unfortunately. Interact. Bouncing. Press RT to poke with your violin bow. Oh, pressing it near the ground makes you bounce higher in the air. Ah. I can kind of like a double jump effectively. Does it change? Okay, let me see. If I jump, bounce, I get to like top of that gear maybe and then if i just bounce i yeah, yeah, no, i get high if i jump bounce let's do here that looks like death it is death <laughs> why would you do that you just made it enticing to go look down there <gasps> oh my goodness oh Wait, what was that? Oh, I thought something was about to fall on my head. I'll be to help. Oh, I can bounce with LB as well. Bouncing after a jump. Bounce while in the air with A and RT to gain more height. Okay, maybe I should stop exploring and just let the game tell me how to play. Excellent. Hello. Are you you good? How can I help? No? Alright. I don't think I can help him. Hmm. Thank you. Oh, we got one sheet music. So the violin is my instrument and also my mode of transport, like kind of like a part of my traversal. That's cool. Okay, I don't need help. Stop telling me to. Oh, what's up there? Uh, I thought I found a secret. RT near a cushion to stick to it with the violin bow Then choose a direction and press RT again to catapult yourself like a slingshot Okay, so RT and then Let go What? RT and then Let go Oh, okay, and then press it again. I see. Oh, the traversal is... Oh, okay, I see. So I just press RT. I don't have to hold it. And then... I see again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of just learning right now. There we go. Excellent. You know what the the character that we have kind of reminds me of? Ooh, how does this work? So I jump up. And I, oh, I thought I could. Oh, okay. So if I use a cushion to jump, I can't then do another like long jump interesting 
How am I supposed to? Okay. <laughs> I was complicating it too much. Just jump. Okay. I've got another sheet music. I'm not even using my normal jump anymore, by the way. Stick in a cushion placed on the ceiling by using RT near them. Hmm. Whoosh. Interact, wall sliding or wall jumping, slide along the walls by falling next to them. Standing. Okay. Got it. Is there anything up there? No? Oh. Ah, oh, this game is pretty cool. I like it so far. I mean, right now, I think we're still getting... Oh, dude, this gives me, like... Hollow Knight vibes so much. Even with that little tram thing. And I, I, I think I, I don't think I uh, finished my sentence before. But I was going to say that our character kind of reminds me of like. Um, the. What's the what's the guy's name? The Grim boss fight? Nightmare. Nightmare Grim. That's it. It kind of reminds me of Nightmare Grim. Ooh. Ooh, I almost messed up. RT. Oh. Is there a dash button? Interact. Press RT while bl bending. To simply let go of the cushion. Without bending, okay. So that platform is gonna start moving soon. I was gonna say, bro, how long do I have to play? Can you move, please? Oh, I have to be on it and play, okay. And I'm dead. Ooh, that was close. Thank you. Bouncing with momentum. Keep bouncing with RT before landing to build momentum and overcome. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, oh, that's nice. That's a fun way to traverse. I like that. Woodwind glass house. What was that? I don't think I'm gonna be running no more. I'm just gonna. Oh, frick. Ah, I missed. <laughs> That's my bad. My bad. Hmm. Oh, okay. I should stop doing that. I don't know what's coming up. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay. Okay, maybe I should just stop doing that. Okay. I think I was just getting used to using RT too much. I could just jump like normal and i'm rushing for some reason there we go <laughs> so i was i was too much in the mindset of relaxing oh come on 
it's hard to know when to use rt and when to be using just a normal jump this is a rt oh oh <laughs> kind of forgot i had to jump there oh no okay how does this work <laughs> is there a dash But that's not gonna work. Um, maybe if I just run really fast. Oh, there we go. Okay, what? Just run. Oh, it's a doubt. I need to. I'm like so. I'm not very observant, am I? The wind is going down. There we go. And this one's going up as well, so run. Okay. Woo! There we go. Now the game's getting more fun. Hmm. Ah, right, let's see. Ooh. Okay, that was. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. What am I doing? I forgot the controls for some reason. There we go. Oh. Got it. Marvelous. Uh. Just sit here and play music to relax for a little bit. Ah, that was a difficult section we just went through. Okay. Oh. That updraft is so fast. Mm. Woo! <laughs> I got that done somehow. Oh. Okay. Okay. That that happened. No. 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 I missed it. There we go. Come on, put me back up. Yes. You must be crazy if you think I'm not going back. Yeah. Ah. Put me back up. Yeah. Ah. Okay, let me get to a peak first. And then, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That is a close little jump right there. Woo! Got it. Yes. There we go. Okay. I was. <laughs> I didn't put me back. I was busy enjoying my victory. I forgot that. Ah, oh, god dang it. I'm rushing. was close okay run oh okay we did it ah. okay Oh, well, there we go, and that ends the demo. Thank you for playing the demo of Symphonia. Wish this the game. This is a cool look. I do love platforming puzzle games, and this was cool. Like, I would admit, I was 
starting to get disappointed at the beginning because it was kind of feeling like i was just cruising along and i was like i was thinking where are the difficult elements in this game but then towards the end when you actually start getting into the difficult puzzles it's very really cool i like this game this is a so this is technically not even a like they were they were not kidding about the non-violent uh platforming game okay well gamers adventurers and explorers that has been symphonia uh let me know in the comments below if you're going to be adding this to your wish list and if you're going to be checking out the demo because honestly i think it is worth checking out the demo is very short and sweet and it it kind of just gives you a taste of what the game is going to be like and i really enjoy this game and i'm there's definitely going to be up on my wish list and i will say i apologize for the random cuts in this uh outro that you probably heard while i'm trying to i was trying to give my thoughts i was you know trying to deal with the technical difficulty at the same time so i kept having to pause the recording but i hope you guys enjoyed as i said before let me know uh if you're going to be adding this game to your wish list uh, i'm actually curious to know how many people what other people think about this game because i really like it, it but like for like a little part of it there it gave me hollow knight vibes very heavy with the with the tram and the character kind of looking like nightmare grim i think it, it kind of also had the color scheme for nightmare grim which is the red and black and yeah so i think that's a i, I think that's pretty cool because i love hollow knight and this game is completely different from it but if it wants to add like little elements of you know just kind of like a nod to it then i think that'd be cool as well I has been Symphonia and I'll catch you in the next one in a bit.